Hello, let's start the MCQ banks. Question number one. What is the common hematological disorder that may occur in pregnancy? Option share option A, anemia. Option B, rhesus, isoimmunization. Option C, blood coagulation disorders. Option D, none of the above. So here the correct option is option a anemia anemia means lack of blood so according to the standard laid down by the who who means world health organization anemia in pregnancy is present when the hemoglobin concentration in the peripheral blood is 11 gram per 100 ml or less okay during pregnancy plasma volume expands maximum around 32 weeks of pregnancy resulting in hemoglobin dilution for this reason, hemoglobin level below 100 gram per deciliter at any time during pregnancy and it is considered as anemia. Next question number two, what is the essential element in the synthesis of DNA and hemoglobin? Options are option A, copper, option B, cobalt, option C, iron, option D, all of the above. So here the correct option is option c iron here copper and cobalt are also required in the synthesis of dna and hemoglobin but iron is the essential one next question number three defective synthesis of both rna and dna is the deficiency result of option share option a vitamin b12 option b vitamin c option c folic acid option d iron so here the correct option is option a vitamin b12 suppose defective synthesis of dna only huh, if question is like that then the answer will be because of deficiency of folic acid so let me tell you the rna and dna full form rna is ribonucleic acid and dna is deoxyribonucleic acid these two are the most important molecules in cell biology which is responsible for the storage and reading of genetic information next question number four the factors which lead to the development of anemia during pregnancy options are option a pre-pregnant health status option b excess demand option c diminished intake of iron option d all of the above so here the correct option is option d all of the above now let me explain about these three factors in pre-pregnant health status majority of the women start pregnancy on a pre-existing state with reduced iron reserve means iron become less in their body still they used to start the pregnancy okay next in excess demand in excess demand there is multiple pregnancy because of this iron demand is become more it become like double fault or double and also those women who are rapidly recurring pregnancy within two years following the last delivery because of this reason also iron demand is become more to replace the deficient iron reserve in diminished intake of iron here apart from socioeconomic factors faulty dietetic habits loss of appetite and vomiting in pregnancy are responsible factors for the development of anemia during pregnancy next question number five what is the normal level of hemoglobin in pregnancy option share option a more than or equal to 11 gram per deciliter option b less than 11 gram per deciliter option c 10 gram per deciliter option d 9 to 10 gram per deciliter so here the correct option is option a more than or equal to 11 gram per deciliter now let me tell you the gradings of anemia during pregnancy which is based on hemoglobin levels according to who in 2011 so here is the mild anemia that is if the hemoglobin level is 10.02 10.9 gram per deciliter moderate if there is 7 to 9.9 gram per deciliter severe if the hemoglobin level is less than 7 gram per deciliter next question number six the common investigations to find out the cause of anemia during pregnancy is option share option a stool examinations option b urine examinations option c both a and b option d none of the above so here the correct option is option c both a and b here maybe you are thinking that to know the anemia why stool and urine need to be examined okay the answer is that Stool examination is done to detect 
helminthic infestation particularly hookworm because of this also the omen can suffer from anemia that's why we have to do the stool examinations next is urine examination is done to know the presence of protein sugar parcels a clean cat's midstream specimen of urine is subjected to culture and colony count if the counts are over 10 to the power 5 per ml it indicates infection okay these are the reasons why we have to do the stool and urine examination to know the anemia during pregnancy next question number seven anemia in pregnancy can arise the complications during labor is option sure option a shock option b cess pain option c preeclampsia option d none of the above here the correct option is option a shock because of anemia even a minor traumatic delivery without bleeding may produce shock or hypoxia as she has already suffered from anemia during pregnancy next question number eight anemia in pregnancy can cause the complications during parperium is option sure option a parperal sepsis option b sub involution option c poor lactation option d all of the above so here the correct option is option d all of the above now let me tell you about this parperium what is parperium parperium begins after childbirth and this period is about six weeks after the delivery of the baby so here parperal sepsis means infection of the genital tract sub involution means where uterus does not return to its normal size or cannot contract properly here poor lactation means low milk supply all these complications can arise after the delivery of the baby because of anemia in pregnancy next question number nine what is the risk periods due to anemia in pregnancy option sure option a at about 30 to 32 weeks pregnancy option b immediately following delivery option c during labor option d all of the above so here the correct option is option d all of the above these are the risk periods due to anemia in pregnancy for which patient may even die suddenly next question number 10 anemia in pregnancy is option sure option a an underlying disorder option b a disease option c impaired blood cells option d none of the above so here the correct option is option a an underlying disorder okay anemia is it's a curative disorder but not a disease next question number 11 what type of symptoms may develop in anemia during pregnancy option sure option a fatigue option b anorexia option c palpitation option d all of the above so here the correct option is option d all of the above next question number 12 what is the prophylaxis therapy of anemia for pregnant lady option sure option a avoidance of frequent childbirth option b oral iron therapy option c parenteral therapy option d hospitalization so here the correct option is option a avoidance of frequent childbirth okay that's why a minimum interval between pregnancies should be at least two years to replace the loss of iron during childbirth process and lactation and this can be achieved by using proper spacing method of childbirth next question number 13 what type of element can increase the absorption of iron option sure option a ascorbic acid option b fruit juice option c various amino acids option d all of the above so here the correct option is option d all of the above next question number 14 what is the contraindication of iron oral therapy option sure option a intolerance to oral iron option b concurrent blood loss option c defective absorption option d fails to take iron so here the correct option is option a intolerance to oral iron next question number 15 what is the indication of parenteral iron therapy option sure option a contraindication of oral therapy 
ऑप्शन बी ब्लीडिंग पाइल्स ऑप्शन सी हू कम इनफेस्टेशन ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ द एब सो हियर द कारेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए कंट्रा इंडिकेशन ऑफ ओरल थेरापी इफ द ओमेन कैन नट टेक द आयरन टेबलेट ओरली देन ओनली उव टू गिव द पेरेंटेरल आयरन थेरापी